One, two, three. Step through as I switch my base. How you guys doing? Raymond Daniels here. Got my partner Mike over here. Uh, today I'm going to be going over how to throw your spinning hook kick and how to apply it actually during sparring. Uh, I like to do it during two ways. I like to do it when I'm either one, pulling my opponent in, or two, if I'm pushing my opponent backwards. But you can also do it whenever uh, your opponent is trying to throw uh, low kicks at you as well. So I'm going to show you the low kick way, uh, but there's a really small window in order to throw this technique. So I'm going to show you first from a close stance. So we're in our close stance. Oops. All right, if he's throwing this rear leg low kick for me. Okay. Ideally, I would want to throw my spin kick from an open stance if he's throwing that, and I would turn and throw my spin kick that way. However, I'm going to show you guys this is a very small window. When everybody throws their kicks, especially uh, if they're dealing with like a low kick fighter, a tie fighter, or a Dutch style, when they throw it, their hands also, ready to throw your hands, how you would throw them? See how there's this window right here, right for the spin hook kick. So watch it again. He throws it. Watch this window. So at the same time as that spit, that leg kick is coming, you're going to pull your lead leg away as that leg is coming. And you're going to flash that hook kick right into that window. Um, go ahead and throw that leg kick. Go. Again, ready and go. This is a, a very small window. Um, it takes a lot of accuracy in order to be able to throw this type of technique and it takes uh, proper timing. So you have to have technique awareness, know what technique is gonna be coming at you. You have to also know where your window is going to be at in order to throw that type of technique uh, with that force, okay? The other way I like to throw my spin kick is if I'm pulling uh, my opponent. So what I'll do is I'll step into what we call the hot zone. I'll step back from the neutral to what I call the no zone. When I did that, now my partner feels like, oh, I can't punch him, I can't kick him from here. So his only option is gonna be to step forward. As, at the same time, as I see him stepping forward, disengage one more time for me. So as I move back and I see him stepping forward, I drop and switch my base. Now that opens up the spin hook kick for this side. So once again, that one will look like this. Sometimes I'll enter even with a jab. I'll, I'll, I'll play with a jab, enter with my jab, and then I disengage with a big exit. Now he's gonna feel like he needs to cover that space. As he does it, I switch my base and throw my spin hook kick off of that. I'll switch sides so you guys can see that as well. So, as I enter, I'll exit. Now he's gonna feel like he needs to step in towards me. As he steps in, I drop into my base and I throw that spin hook kick. I need to make sure I'm recognizing what type of distance that I'm creating. So again, when I go here, I don't even need to step in with the jab. My goal is to create space. When I create this space, I'm doing what I call pulling my opponent towards me. Now he has to step. I'm gonna close that by stepping back in. He can continue to engage me if he wanted to, or he can even stand there or he can try and disengage. It's gonna be harder for him to move backwards. But now, I've stepped into my spin kick and it's gonna have a lot more power. If my opponent were to continue to engage me, as I, I step back, he steps forward. If he still tried to keep coming forward, I would switch it to my spin back kick as opposed to my spin hook kick. My spin hook kick is used if my partner says stationary or if they move away. But if they press forward, make sure you guys check out the spin back kick tutorial and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, the other time I like to throw my spin kick is when I have my partner backing up. I like to drive my partner back with my hands. I'll drive one, two, three. Then I can step through and throw that spin kick. You can even do it on the other side. One, two, three. Step through and throw that spin kick. But again, this is all for me pushing my opponent backwards. So they're at the apex of where my kick has the most power. If we were to switch sides, just so you guys can see it, try it on both sides. This is starting an attack with my lead hand. One, two, three. Since I have him driving backwards, he's on his heel. 
I'm going to step through and switch my pace as I throw my spit. If I was attacking rear hand, one, two, three, step through as I switch my base. And that one a little quicker will look like so. Thank you guys for tuning in to the spin hook kick tutorial and how to use it uh, during sparring. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you check me out on RaymondDaniels.com or EvolutionFightingSystems.com. I look forward to seeing you guys soon.